Right, let's talk a little bit about rimming. This adds a lot of flavor to your drinks, but you want to get it right. And every drink calls for a little bit of a different rimmer. Two different kinds of rimming that we're going to talk about today. The first one is the full rim. In bars, they always have like a nice rimmer set up that's super easy to do. Nobody has that at home. Some people do, but pretty much everyone doesn't have that. What I find the best solution to this problem is, is to take something like a cutting board, you can use a plate as well, and just pour a nice pile onto the cutting board. Nice mound like that. Then you're either gonna take a nice little piece of citrus. I always like to use the end of the citrus, but you can use any part of the citrus, uh, or you can use water. Citrus just adds a little bit more flavor. It tends to stick better to whatever you're rimming as well. And then you're gonna take that citrus, you're gonna run it along the entire rim of the glass, like so. And you'll be able to see it on the top of the rim, and it should be pretty even. It doesn't need to be perfect, but it should be pretty even. And then, you're just going to run your glass through the pile. You know, you can kind of put it on there with your hand a little bit. And then you're going to have a nice rimmed glass all the way through the glass. Those are things like Caesars and stuff, margaritas. You know, that's kind of what you want. The other one is a more precision technique uh, where you only want a rim on a certain point of the glass, half the glass, a little thin strip. It's more decorative, but it also, you know, if you want to drink the drink and not have every sip have a rim, uh, like rimmer added to it, this is kind of what you want. So, we're gonna take this nice purple Merlot salt and do the same thing. Put a nice pile onto your cutting board or plate you're going to take your lime, you're going to do the exact same thing, but you're going to be more precise about where you put it on your glass. So we're going to use a champagne flute. Uh, this is for our champagne box. You're going to have to do this one. You're going to take it, take the lime, and run it up and down just on one strip of the glass. Don't go all the way around, just keep it in one place. And then you're just going to basically roll the citrus line over the salt. And it's going to stick to there and you're going to get a nice line sticking to the glass. Looks great. It's part of the garnish and it keeps it contained within this area so it's not every sip, especially with something like a champagne cocktail, you might not want salt in every single sip. You're going to just be able to take as much salt as you want per sip. And it looks great. So there you go. That's how to salt rim glasses.